Hey dreamers and welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to a new tutorial. Two days ago I already uploaded the first tutorial using the new features from the new amazing update that Media Molecule just launched and I've shown you some amazing techniques that I figured out about how we can make some amazing water in dreams. I think it's the best looking water that we've seen in dreams so far and it's super easy to make. Definitely check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Some people in the community already use these techniques to make some incredible water which I'm just quickly showing you here. Now, in this video, I would like to show you another new feature that is actually a big game changer for creating in dreams, and that is the Luminoise feature. A new feature that allows us to pretty much get rid of the hue variation in the flex, meaning that we can get a solid color and kind of get to hide the flex. At first I thought it will be useful, but not that it would be that useful. I have made some awesome new discoveries again, and as always I'm happy to share my techniques with you. So I've prepared a little scene here with different kind of stuff where we can use it. The first one where I figured it out was sand, and I, I really like creating sand. Journey is one of my favorite games, and I think it has some really beautiful sand. And the thing is, when we I just created some some uh, desert-like structures here quickly to display to you guys, and when we have sand, we always have the flax in here. Now we could take out the dots flag, and maybe that would a bit like look like the corns in the sand, especially if we hire the impasto. But it was really hard to get, let's say, a clean-looking sand-like look like you would find it in other engines or games. But now if we go to the tweak menu, first off we go to the secondary color and turn that to zero if we haven't already, it's usually on about 30%. We turn this down and now we just make one click by activating the luminoise tweak and boom! We have a fully completely clean sand it almost looks like it comes out of Journey in my opinion. It is so amazing and such a game changer for this kind of stuff. The same here, I have um, prepared some snow and here it's the exact same thing. We can just turn down the secondary color and make the luminoise tweak and boom, we have some really clean looking snow. Another thing that we can do here actually is now, just how we did it with the water, we copy this sand here we turn it into bake to paint. Now we have an accurate painting of our structures. Um, let's give it a splat flag. And the cool thing is we can almost give it a like a wind kind of effect. We just make it a bit more, um, let's say, thick for that. Turn on the roughness, lots of waxiness. And now we, we can um, add some effects that look a bit like, like a wind would be waving maybe over the sand dunes here. And now what I'm gonna do is just lower the opacity. And now look at that. And the thing is, it's maybe a bit much. We can just still change the color to more solid. Kind of like this maybe. And what we can also do now is go into this option here and by changing the endpoint we we just choose like a few random like points where it would wave over. And like that it's not everywhere. Just a just a quick thing that I thought about here. Um, and then now we have a landscape here that I've lowered to quite a lot uh, low detail. You can see the flex here very strong. This is a 1% graphics thermo landscape as you can see. Um, but now even here we can just turn off the secondary color, the luminoise, and even though it's a low quality sculpture you can say, it looks insanely clean with the new surface. It almost looks like it's out of another engine, which a lot of you will like, I think. And here again, we can just copy this, 
convert to paint, change the flag types to a more grassy one, um, give it a finish, make it rough, waxy, turn up the impasto, maybe stretch it a little bit as well, give it some wind. And now it kind of covers everything. Of course, we can still make changes to it, but really quickly here, you could also just do it like this. And then you just have grass at a few points of the landscape. Just another experiment that I thought of. Um, and now another thing that a lot of you also have mentioned on Twitter is how amazing we can get a clean looking metal look. You can see I made some pipes here. And if we turn it down here, turn off the secondary color, and the luminoise and boom we have an almost perfectly clean metal look can also try around with roughness really nice looking metal it's quickly displaying it with this here as well you can see the closer we get we see it's not completely clean and now this feature really changes everything about this it's so amazing honestly Another thing that I thought of was crystals. We can see crystals usually have an insanely smooth kind of surface. And here the same, just quickly turning that off, doing the luminoise off and boom. Very clean looking crystals. Really do like the look of this. You can see I already did the same with the ground actually, our standard ground. And yeah, that's it. That's the new Luminoise tweak feature, which seems like such a small thing, but it, I think it can be such a big game changer to creating in dreams once again. Definitely let me know what you guys find out about this feature, what you use it for, and share your creations with me over on Twitter or in my new Discord server where you guys are quite active and where I'm currently also collecting your creations that you make with the new opaque square flag to be featured in my new video, which is hopefully coming this Sunday still. Um, if you want to be featured in it, send me your creations with the new opaque square flag within the next 20 hours and yeah. I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it helped you guys as much as the last video. Thanks again for the incredible feedback. And many thanks to my patrons for supporting me as an artist. It means the world to me. You can also support me there. The link is in the description down below. Same as my Discord server. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Have fun experimenting with all of this new stuff.